Metro police are hoping to follow Williamson County's lead and track down who made a threat at Antioch High School. Nothing was found, but it was serious enough to force the school to close earlier this morning. Andrea Klein Thomas joins us live from Antioch High School, where there's now an ongoing criminal investigation, right, Andrea? That's right, Vicki, and even the FBI is involved. Now, authorities don't think that this threat is a result of a prank, and Metro school leaders will stress that it's absolutely no laughing matter. It was an unsubstantiated threat this morning. Of course, we did not find any weapons or explosive devices on, cam on campus. A whole day of learning is gone after Antioch High School joined a growing list of schools in the mid-state that have become targets of threats. Um, at first, we had a locked uh, security drill, and we had to stay in our classes for a long time. And then the teachers got an email saying that they had to leave. But here, a lockdown turned into an evacuation, all because of what's being described as an electronic threat. The authorities say was so specific, it put their safety in danger. A coordinated evacuation plan was activated to quickly get 2,000 students plus faculty and staff quickly off campus, not long after they first arrived. It becomes chaotic as far as families, you know, with their concerns, the kids are not getting the learning that they need, and it's very disruptive. And it's also disrespectful as far as the kids' education and the teachers and just, you know, making it hard on everybody. With everyone out, a thorough search is conducted. The police department's hazardous devices unit with specially trained canines, checked the lockers of the building. South Precinct officers went through the hallways and classrooms. It was another hoax, but these days, threats like this have to be taken seriously. What is not fake are the consequences for whoever is determined to be responsible. We will prosecute to the fullest extent possible um, any individual that we find to be making a threat against a school. Metro, sco Metro schools has used up all of its makeup days earlier this year because of all of the snow and ice. So what does that mean for students here at Antioch High? Well, the district may have to go to the state to see if students will have to make up this day. Reporting live in Antioch, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.